Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a new playlist all about Kotlin coroutines. In this video, which is the first video of this playlist, I will introduce you to threads and coroutines and explain why coroutines are uh, such a powerful tool in Kotlin language. Let's get started. First, let's see the threads. A thread is the smallest unit of processing in an operating system. In the modern programs, we often use multi-threading, which means running multiple threads at the same time. For example, a program might download files in the background while still allowing the user to interact with the interface. Before we dive into the challenges of threads, uh, let's talk about why we use uh, threads or coroutines. The main reason is to improve performance by handling multiple tasks at once. This is important for keeping the user interface responsive during long tasks like downloading files or processing data. Threads and coroutines also allow for better use of uh, resources like CPU cores by running multiple threads in parallel. Using threads can help us uh, make our applications uh, efficient and uh, more responsive, but uh, it comes with a lot of challenges, uh, mainly because each thread needs uh, memory and uh, CPU time uh, to uh, run and additionally the synchronization issues are very important when we are using the threads that's why we are using coroutines instead of threads coroutines are a feature in Kotlin language that uh, allows you to write asynchronous uh, codes uh, that is easy to read and maintain uh, they are much lighter than traditional threads, uh, allowing you to run many coroutines uh, at the same time. Coroutines uh, use suspend functions to pause and resume uh, code executions based on the need and based on the design of your project and also based on the task that uh, you are following during using the application. And uh, structured uh, uh, concurrency helps manage these uh, tasks. Coroutines have many advantages over traditional threads. They simplify your code, making it easier to write and understand. Coroutines are uh, also more efficient because uh, they use fewer resources. Additionally, they are flexible and uh, easily integrate with your uh, existing code, making them a great uh, choice for modern Kotlin development. Now let's take a look at uh, uh, syntax uh, using coroutine. In this example, we use run blocking to uh, start a coroutine scope. Inside this scope, uh, we launch a new coroutine with uh, launch block, uh, which prints word after uh, a one second delay. Meanwhile, hello is printed immediately at the beginning. Uh, this uh, simple example shows how coroutine can run code uh, concurrently without blocking the main thread. Uh, we know that when we are uh, writing something like a code a hello world in the blank project everything is implemented in the main thread so uh, without using another thread uh, by using coroutines we can uh, execute uh, two tasks at the same time without blocking the main thread in more detail uh, run blocking blocks the current thread until all the coroutines inside it complete. Launch is uh, used uh, to start a new coroutine and delay is a non-blocking delay. 
Uh, this combination allows you to write efficient and simple code that runs multiple tasks at the same time. To sum up, threads are uh, powerful but can be complex and uh, resource heavy. Coroutines offer a simpler, a more efficient and flexible alternative. Kotlin coroutines uh, are an excellent tool for modern uh, Kotlin development, allowing you to write clean and efficient asynchronous code. And that was everything about this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please uh, give me a thumbs up and write your comments down below. I will uh, read them and answer them. Uh, if you want to support me financially, uh, you can find the link uh, down below and buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.